The PS2 is an all-time favorite console for many people, including myself. Due to how groundbreaking it was at the time of release, as well as all the memorable and iconic games that were released on it. Now, you might be wondering, how can you play those games today if you don't currently have a PS2? I mean, after all, most of these games didn't even get a PC port. You'll be glad to know that you can still play PS2 games on your PC using a PS2 emulator. Today we'll be showing you how to download an emulator and how to get your favorite games running again. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually download the emulator software. The one we recommend and the one we're gonna be using for this video is PCSX2. We're using this one because it's the most popular one, it has the best compatibility and it has the best performance. What you wanna do is you wanna head over to PCSX.net and download the latest version for your operating system for this video we're on windows once it's downloaded go over to your downloads folder and now we can move on to the installation installing the program is fairly easy you just have to follow the on-screen instructions essentially just install this like you would be installing any other program on your pc make sure you have a look at the optional plugins that you could get but for the most part just leave the installation as it is and go through it now once the program is installed we can't jump into the game straight away unfortunately we have to set up the bios this might sound boring but this is essential to actually get the PS2 emulator working. You can extract the BIOS from your own console or you can download them from online. Once you've done that, all you have to do is point PCSX2 to the BIOS directory in the settings. Once that's done, we have to do a little bit of fine tuning. Open up PCSX2 and go to config. In the plugin BIOS selector, choose the appropriate graphics plugin. Usually the GSDX plugin is recommended. Adjust the settings according to your system's capabilities. Also, configure your controls by going to config controllers, and map your keyboard or game controller buttons. And now the moment you're probably waiting for, which is loading the actual games onto the emulator. Now, if you actually have the original PS2 disc for the game that you're trying to play, you can actually insert this into your PC's DVD drive and mount it that way. Or alternatively, you're gonna have to download an image file from an ISO website. Once you have the ISO for the game that you wanna play, you're gonna wanna click on see DVD, ISO selector and then you have to choose the ISO file that you downloaded. Now the game is actually mounted into your emulator. Next you're going to want to hit system and then boot CDVD fast. And at this point that's it pretty much. The game launches and you can actually play the game. If you've done everything right up until this point the game should run perfectly fine. Now to make your experience even better you could go and explore the settings in PCSX2. There is a ton of stuff that you can look at like upscaling graphics, enabling widescreen patches and even using cheats. And there you go. Now you can play your favorite ps2 games if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like leave a comment on what you would like us to make a video about in the future thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one